Welcome back to the Career Mode RTG. We are currently third in the Premier League table and just two points off top. Level on points with Liverpool, although, again, goal difference is uh, our Achilles heel so far this season. We are playing well, though, and scoring some decent goals. Might Maybe just not as many as we perhaps would like. We've Southampton to start, then Newcastle, and we'll end the episode with a group stage game in the Champions League against Valencia. We also have... Uh, Wigan Athletic away in the Carabao Cup. That will be the simmed game of the day. We start, as we say, though, with Southampton, and we'll see what we can do here uh, at home against the Saints. Some people were mentioning about the, the uh, kits in the last episode. You're absolutely right. Obviously, the game of FIFA on PC has had an update since the uh, last kit mod was introduced, and the update has broken the kit mod. That's why I have a Juventus uh, a wet or Juventus, th Juventus third kit and the little pictures uh, are not the pictures of the kits that you see on the guy. Uh, Merikits has taken a, a break from social media and from modding etc. So I haven't gone to anyone else to have kit mods added in again. Quite happy with the home kit and the away kit that we have and we'll just stick with those for the rest of the series. So uh, quite happy with the kits that we've got to be fair. I quite like them, so we're going to stick with them, but that's why it is the way that it is. There were some people questioning that in the last episode. Uh, let me throw... Hmm, Mitch is not necessarily that fit either, is he? Well, maybe we'll leave it as is then. Uh, one thing I do need to do is give the captain's armband back to Jack, because uh, for some reason it took it away from him, but he's going to be the captain again. I need to do that actually on the, the actual full menu rather than uh, just this one pre-game. But we'll start with, fingers crossed, three points against Southampton. Build with a win in the Carabao Cup against Wigan. And then take the game to Newcastle and Valencia. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the game. Here's the lineup then for the Saints. Angus Gunning goal for them. 4-4-2 still at Southampton. Valerie, Matt, Hoot and Luke Thomas. Izzy Brown, Acampos centrally, Barkley and Simeone. Fernandez and Che Adams up top. Surprised to see them playing Acampos in a centre mid role that really doesn't suit his skill set. Berger to Brown and across to Perezio. We'll go inside. Looking for Abadir, he's actually done really well there. And we'll look for Campos. And around the outside. Oh, Don Brown! Oh, good save by the feet of Angus Gunn. The touch of Brown took him a little bit too close to goal. Very nearly 1-0 with that effort from Don, but a good save by the keeper. Abadia played in. Jack Rolls makes the run. I've got Matt closing me down. Campos get it back on his left. Look to cross it towards the man at the near post. And Abadia will turn it home, but it's not going to count. Offside. Really good finish. Great pick out by Campos on his left foot as well. But the lino says no goal. And I imagine, yeah, the lino is rather clearly correct in that decision. Brilliant finish, but it's not going to count. Oh, they've played it in behind. I'm not going to catch Hernandez here. I'll bring the keeper out. Oh, they swept me. Has he gone for it? Oh, I thought for a minute Che Adams had gone for a cheeky chip shot. And it wasn't going to find the back of the net. From the free kick following our disallowed goal, they've just played it right in behind my uh, right in behind my back line. One ball. A knockdown from the long free kick. Then a 1-2. And Southampton lead by a goal to nil. That is the most Route 1 goal I think we've conceded all save. Maybe even all FIFA 20. That was very, very rudimentary textbook Route 1 football from Southampton. He's gone for an extra pass there and he probably didn't need to. Sanderberg will try and flick that on. And from feeling like we were clearly the dominant side in the game and playing better than Southampton by a margin, we actually find ourselves 1-0 down now. Support here from Campos. Oh, it's a nice little flick. They're in for another. They're trying to sweat me again. Keeper's going to get back to his goal. Salisu's in the way. Still falls for them. I mean, I'm trying my hardest to defend this. <laughs> but Southampton keep getting the, the, the ball fall for them. Blocks, tackles, interceptions. Just, oh, it just will not. Oh, off the heel of the defender as well. That's just unlucky. That's really, really unlucky. Southampton... With one of the most fortuitous two-goal leads you are likely to see. Martinelli inside to Rolls. Short there to Brown. Abadia could get fed through that channel. Oh, and he takes it in his stride well too. Shot the shoulder on the defender. And surely we've got one back here. 
Southampton are so lucky in this game right now. That certainly wasn't meant for Salasu, and that certainly wasn't meant for Jack Rolls. Oh, I cannot believe. I cannot believe we haven't scored there. Oh, it's definitely a foul. Abadia could have stayed on his feet there, though, and was in behind. I wish he had stayed on his feet and gotten in behind, because I would have buried that. Now we have a free kick in a really awkward position that I'm not really confident of being able to turn home. Come on. Oh, go on, yes! We have finally turned a free kick home. Abadia might well have scored from the open play opportunity, taken down, but that's not going to stop him scoring all told. 2-1. Great free kick. Finally, I get my technique right. And Abadia buries it. The ball jumps. They probably save it. They let not to. Big mistake. Game on again. 2-1. Here's Simeone. Oh, what a delivery. What a ball. What a save. Jeepers. Southampton at it again. Still we come forward. This will be for Don Brown. Spin the man. Well done. Look for Abadia. Well done. Got Jack Rolls there. Well done. Campos making a good run. Well done. Deliver the ball into the middle. Well done. Martinelli to knock that down. Ah, Brandon Williams will win that. Well done. Jack Rolls around the corner. Don Brown. Oh, nice change of direction. Oh, and an emphatic finish too. Cambridge 2, Southampton 2. Don Brown on the score sheet again. Oh, how much better is he than when we first had him? He was one of our best players for the level we were at at the time. Now he's one of our best players at the level we're at now. That was a great turn there. And then the finish smashed home. I love Don Brown. Get involved. Come on, Ches. Get a win in this bloody game, will you? And just reach Baron and Chez. Accelerate away. Rolls is there. Come on, Jack. Ah, oh, poor pass. I think Baron and Chez might have just strayed offside. Tough game, this one. Really unexpected, difficult game against Southampton. He's going to keep that in there, Giovanni Simeone. We may not yet get anything from this. I'm from 2-0 down back to 2-2, but if we lose it in the last few minutes, I will be very, very disappointed. Stefan will bowl that out. Campos brings it down. Forward to Don Brown. Make me runs, please, boys. Make me runs. Just stand there. Oh, no, it's meant for rolls. Never mind, Baron Achea could still play Jack in. Has played Jack in. Oh, it's slightly overplayed. Look for the back heel. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not going to get the win against Southampton. It's just not going to happen for me. Oh, I can't believe we're not going to win this game. I can't believe we went 2-0 down, let alone that we're not going to win it in the end. Unbelievable. We might even lose it still. Hernandez finds Che Adams. Hernandez is still there in the middle. Cano wins it back, and that's game. A point at home against Southampton. Having to come from two goals down to get anything from the game. Oh, it was an outrageous game of football. Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. And actually, it's Wigan to Sim next, isn't it, in the Carabao Cup. All right, Wigan next in the Cup. What I've actually done is added a third squad. So we have the first team. We have a high-rated Sim team. And then for games like Wigan in the Carabao Cup, where I would like to give my higher-rated players a rest and we could play with a full rotated 11, I've added that in as well and called it Resis. So this ro full rotated 11 should be able to get the result against uh, Wigan here in the Carabao Cup. And it gives all of my high-rated players the chance to get a little bit of a rest. I had, oh, really, Wright gets himself sent off after 11 minutes. Thankfully, Baron Ache gives us a 1-0 lead. But this is probably going to be another example, yep, of uh, red cards in simulated games not meaning anything. They've now got a man sent off as well. Have we actually had a simulated game in recent memory that hasn't had a red card in it? I feel like there's someone sent off in almost every single simulator we gain. A game we do right now. We win by three goals to nil. So uh, exactly what we expected in getting what we wanted from that. Glad Cano is feeling better after that rest. Dom Wright is going to be suspended, but he's not going to play again for a very long time, so it doesn't matter. Right, as we progress then towards the game against Newcastle, unfortunately now four points from the top of the Premier League, but we could get ourselves a lot closer if we can win this second played game of the day. Now everybody back fully fit, and we should be able to run out winners on this occasion. Newcastle's lineup: Freddie Woodman in goal, a 4-4-2 again. Willie Bolly at right back. About Elanga, Sinjust and Real Ruiz. Again, Madrid on the right. O'Hare, Jason Knight and Nkudu with Sorensen and Sam Surridge. Who used to play for someone else at striker, and I can't remember who it was. Might have been Aston Villa. I might be completely out with that. 
Definitely recognise the name, but not in a Newcastle shirt. Well, the 4-4-2 of Southampton caused me some problems, but I hope we can win this one. Badia showing good movement there. And awareness to find the runner, Jack. And Rolls is in here. And he's turned the defender. And, oh, he's desperately unlucky not to score. How has that not gone in? It's a wonderful, superb run. The space that opens up for that far side just can't keep the shot down. I don't feel I put too much power on that. Whoa. Showing Newcastle exactly what we're all about in the opening five minutes. Creating great chances, but not scoring the goal. <laughs> it's becoming far too familiar a sight. There we go. Into Brown. Abadie is there. Do I go to Campos over the top? I'm just going to use Perez Ziol. Try and whip it. Maybe I should have crossed it first time. Mikudu has the pace to get back to me to block it. Uh, I see Salisu just loitering here. I'll whip it to him and then try and knock it down to the man that's next to me. And that man is Jack Rolls. Oh, who struck it well on his left foot. And it's travelling, but Freddie Woodman brings it down quite comfortably. Cano's done well to win that, though. We go in to Jack again. And then oh, I'll bet to go out towards... Oh, Gabriel Martinelli! Golasu! 1-1. Came United against Newcastle. Let's go. Not exactly how I envisage that move being put together. Take it. We'll take it, take it, take it. I was hoping to just spin the defender with Aberdeen and race off, but I had to go for the pass because Jeremiah St. Juice was not to be beaten, but thumped home. Pure shot power beating the keeper there, just as was the case with the uh, free kick in the game against Southampton with uh, Aberdeen. It was the shot power that made the difference there too. Well, I mean, it has only been one way action so far in this game. Let's hope that it continues to be like that between now and the final whistle. Kano will switch this, looking for the left back. Trying to drag the Newcastle line about because they're defending very deep and it has been hard to try and find the right ball in behind. Abadie has taken that in his stride brilliantly. We'll try the near post. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it, it didn't work. That would have been a bit cheeky to smash it home at the near post like that, but with it being FIFA 20, I thought I'd give it a good old go. Pressy Oles won that header well and Campos into rolls. We could maybe create something else. Wait for the defender to come to me. And Don Brown is in some space. Not exactly the ball I wanted, but still works relatively well. Oh, I'm going to have to go back. Pressiol, deliver the ball. It's a decent one. Cleared. Win that, Sander. No, the game has made the attacker win it from behind him so that it can blow the halftime whistle. Brilliant. Look how deep their midfield is. They just sat right in front of their defensive line. I'll try and squeeze that through, but Raul Ruiz is tucked in from out wide as well. Not only have they got the midfield sat very deep, but the, the wing-backs, when they're defending, tuck really narrow. There's just a wall of black and white in front of me. They've worked this really well, though. And Christian Madrid out wide. Stefan holds it nicely. Bowl this out. To be honest, that was meant for Sander Berger, but never mind. Here's Willy Bolly. To be fair, I should probably try and isolate Willy Bolly as a wing-back, shouldn't I? Because he's really not, really not a right-back. I don't think he's got the what the skill set and stat set in game. It's not where that pass was supposed to go. Oh, he's not got the skill set to be able to be a decent wing back, I don't think. Oh, what a cross! They do have the quality at the other side of their defence. Real Ruiz delivers a brilliant cross to pick out the man at the back post. That's a superb delivery and a great header. A Newcastle striker burying a really good header. Certainly a very familiar sight, whether it be Alan Shearer, Andy Carroll, Denver Bar. Name your Newcastle striker. They have had a long line of players that are decent at putting away that type of chance. And despite a lot of domination in this game, we have been pegged back again. We need to be winning these games if we want to win the league. I have to get myself back in front. Berger, into rolls, to Brown, Abadia, find the right pass please, it's a little bit far wide, back in, Campos, no, how is my luck today, come on, score that please, Campos with a, a good cross, Woodman with a decent clearance, it's fallen to Salisu, it's probably an ill-advised thing, to try that, but never mind. I'll switch this. Ugh, I won't. It will hit my own man. I'll switch this. I will. It will find Martinelli. Good touch. Uh, go on in, Jack. 
Going in, Dom. Oh, deflected. Oh, and trickling wide of the target. Please go in. Let me win a game of football today. Christ. Please. I'm a bit desperate now. Make me a decent run, please, Abadia. No. Standing there, he's not going to work for me. Don Brown. He's run away from the ball. He's actively run away from the ball there. I swear he's just run away from it. Nice turn by Jack. Don Brown is there. He's going to play it into that channel. And he's not even bothered to try and get there until that point. Jesus! Oh, bring on FIFA 21. This gameplay engine is shit. Nice tackle by Parisio. Out wide is Martinelli. Abadia, oh, to be fair to him, did make the run that time and I didn't get it to him. Looking for him through that gap. He's away from the defender and doesn't score. Oh, I was offside anyway. Thank God for that. Spare my blushes. Five minutes to go. Come on. There he is. This has well worked. There's Le Guisemont. There's two minutes added on. Oh, I needed to keep that in play and go for a counter-attack. I think that's any chance of us getting a winner here gone. And it might well be Newcastle that have the final effort of the game, if there is one to come. Throw with just seconds to go. And he's onside here. They need to get the ball into the middle. They have done. Salisu will clear it. It's going to be a draw. Is it? Yes. It's going to be a draw again. More points dropped. I mean, I had I hit the bar. I hit the post. I had the ball trickle just wide. I had so many chances in that game to win it. We just couldn't get the ball to get in the back of the net. Oh, at the minute, we're still within touching distance of those above us, but it is a really a situation at the minute just where we're going to have to beat those teams that are above us as well as improve our results against other teams. We have what it takes to keep our unbeaten run going. Uh, it's something to learn from. We certainly weren't the better team. We have to keep our unbeaten run going and we have to win each match. Thank need to you. turn this around. We need to turn this around. I'm sure we will. We have the quality to do so. With Valencia next in the first uh, played Champions League game of the season. <sighs> We're top of that group at least. First in that competition. Let's make sure that that stays the case, shall we? Here's the Valencia 11. Christian Rivero in goal for them. Tilo Keira is their captain at centre-back. Kangin Lee on the bench is someone we've seen causes problems in previous series. It's notably the Leeds one. Actually, Keira isn't at centre-back. He's at right-back. A 4-4-2 again. It's a, apparently a formation that I'm struggling against so far in today's episode. I have actually made uh, a couple of changes myself. Giovanni Reina is in and Campos moved to Cam. Wilson is in at left-back and Nemecha in up top. Outside of that, we're uh, as strong as we ordinarily would be. I don't know what it is about the 4-4-2 the today. So with Newcastle, it was because they sat so deep and defended so resolutely that I just could not find a way through for clear-cut opportunities. I'm going to pull this back and surely... See, where was that sort of finish against Newcastle? Against Newcastle or Southampton, that had pinged off the post. He'd have mishit it, it'd have gone wide, it'd have deflected and then trickled just wide. But within minutes, within minutes of kickoff here against Valencia... It works perfectly and fires right into the corner and is one of the best finishes we've seen from anybody so far this season, especially first time. Cracking hit from David Campos. 1-0. I just need that sort of thing to happen in the Premier League as well. I'm going to have to close down Jordi Escobar here. I can't get that. It's actually a really nice, delicate ball into Nandez. Stop the ball getting back into the middle. Trying to replicate the way that we put our goal together. Ferran Torres will take the corner himself here for Valencia and they try and get themselves an equaliser. I think they drew their first game in the group stage, didn't they? We were top outright uh, on three points after the win against Basel. So Valencia must have drawn against Inter Milan. Nicely worked. Really nicely worked. And still, and still, is Nandez. Oh, stepping in and missing the tackle. Oh, nice change. He's offside. Oh! Thought he was going to go for the shot through Salisu in front. And actually, he's rather cheekily just laid it across underneath the flying slide tackle. Very narrow call. Very narrow call for offside, but probably just the right one. Very, very nearly an equaliser for Valencia, though. And it would have been deserved. 
They played well in that passage of play. Perisio. Going it down the line to Giovanni Reina. Got to catch me. You ain't doing it. Uh, go on then, Lukas. Need the hold-up play. Excellent as ever from Lukas. The match up. I just lay that in front of Don Brown so he could take it in his stride and then hit it was the plan. We will get a free kick on the edge of the box here. It was a foul. Jordi Escobar caught Don Brown as he was taking that shot. Now, Abadillo, who's called a great free kick from similar, protec similar protection, similar position. Uh, well, it looks like Campos is going to be the best option. I'll try and just replicate the free kick against Southampton then. I'll put it there. Up and down. Time it yellow. Oof! Not sure if it was keeper or bar. They said bar in commentary. I'd have to see a replay of it. Reina keeps that in play well. What a hit by Campos. Looking for his second goal of the game. Tom Brown. Oh, I just needed that extra touch to play in Campos around the corner. Very nearly a second goal here. Unfortunately. Getting the luck in front of goal again. Would work in the way for the umpteenth time today. Nice ball outside to Diata. Oh, missed the challenge with Cano. Whipped towards the back post. Piol. Piol? Perisiol. Should be capable enough to deal with that. And he is, thankfully. Oh, Cano deals with that one. And Reina, anywhere will do for me right now. Get out. Oh, Martinelli's done brilliantly. And he's off. And he's away. Go on, Gabriel. Oh, Diata's a bit quick, though. But he's not quick enough to cope with Gabriel Martinelli. How is that for a counter-attack goal? Solo run from the former Arsenal man. And the Brazilian puts us 2-0 up. That'll do. That's more like it. Nuno Pedrenda. Nanes. Cano's done well enough. Valencia building well. But ah, I didn't see the extra defender back there. Nemetis held him off well enough. Great deception by Lato though. I thought for a minute we were in. We can tell. We have been on the counter-attack a lot in this game. And from those stats, you can see why. Oh, good save. Is it going to fall back to him? Yes, great save again. <sighs> Not had the luck, have I, today? Not had the luck at all. Great save. Great save. I just couldn't get a defender close enough. <sighs> Nahita Hernandez makes it 2-1. I was in the process of saying, you've seen from the, the goals that we've scored in this game, we have been kind of relying heavily on the counter-attack. And from the stat that was on screen prior to their goal-scoring opportunity, they have had a larger slice of possession than us. I think it was 56% they'd had. And it's probably slightly higher since finishing that move, scoring the goal, and now being back in possession as well immediately after kickoff. Ah, 20 minutes to go, though. We do deserve the win, despite the fact they've had the majority of the ball. But... If they're going to continue to have the majority of the ball, I can't be absolutely confident with the way that things have gone today that we're going to get the win here. I just can't even keep hold of possession at the minute whatsoever, let alone build a counter-attack once I win it back. I just keep losing it again. Come on, Gabriel. Let's do something, please. Something like pass it straight back to the opposition is not what I had in mind. Oscar Melendo into Tilo Keira. Whipped in. What are you doing? No. Good save, Stefan. He's offside. What was he doing there? Oh, my God. Oh, please, can I win a game? Wilson, we're going to aim to Sander Berger. I haven't made any substitutions in this game. And to be fair, I don't think we've needed to. Campos will get that through there to Giovanni Reina. And I'll drill it into the middle and hope that someone's on the end of it. Lukas Nemetsa gets there. We are to win a game today! Ha ha! Lukas, thank you very much indeed. Cambridge 3, Valencia 1. Well, things going more according to plan in the Champions League, although... The way that they scored their goal was pretty similar to how we've been conceding them today. Four goals in this one, but three of them for me, unlike the game against Southampton, where two were for the opposition. Pleased to have won out here, and it will give us a commanding lead over Valencia and presumably Basel as well, as you imagine Inter will have beaten them. If Inter and Basel draw, then... Uh, I mean, we're still considerably above everybody else. I'm not sure what the other result was. I don't think it showed me at halftime, and it's not showed me here either. Basel and Inter yet to play. We'll end the month in fourth position in the league, still four points uh, away from top. Uh, and in the Champions League, we should be pretty commanding in our position. We are, and Inter did win their game. So uh, get through the two games against Inter without losing, and... 
pretty sure that we're going to go through the Champions League and stand a great chance of defending our Champions League title. We'll just have a wait and see if we get any uh, overall boosts from the switching from month to month. Because, well, we saw Don Brown go up uh, four. Uh, if, I know you just played in the last one, Marcus. I'm sorry, mate. He won us the Champions League and he's found himself out of the starting 11. I apologise, Marcus, but you won't be playing. We had any other overall boosts? Not that I can see there. I, don't, I still can't believe Don Brown went up four in one month. That's outrageous. Oh, well, well, fourth in the league. And where? what does the next month look like? Oh, we've got City in the Carabao Cup. Hmm. I think we'll play Chelsea, Inter and Arsenal and Sim, West Ham... And Manchester City and seeing as we're on the match day here and we've got a, an international break afterwards might as well just sim this game as well to end this episode let's get a win in the Premier League 2 today shall we please weren't able to do it in either of the play games two draws against Southampton and Newcastle which to be fair considering we've dropped four points to still be just four points off top is both pleasing because it means we haven't lost ground and also entirely frustrating because it means if we'd won both those games we would be joint top we're battering Wolves here by four goals to nil as well. So clearly the squad has the quality to be able to challenge at the top of the table. A 5-0 win against Wolves in the end. That will do the goal difference no harm whatsoever. We are up to third. And if I'd beaten Newcastle and beaten Southampton, I'd be bloody top. I'd be first. Oh, Christ alive. I guess if there were going to be games where... Uh, we drop points. There are going to be games where the opposition drop points. So we just hope happen to have dropped those points at the same time as the opposition and not been able to close the gap on anyone at the top. <sighs> Frustrating that we've dropped points, but good to know that others are doing so too. So it's not entirely a lost cause to challenge for the Premier League title uh, this season. We are three points off top and will remain that, although could drop back down to fourth should Liverpool uh, win their game in hand. That's all for today though guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for another one. Ta-ra!